Okay, so question 10 is about a biaxial materials test. So here we imagine having taken a test specimen that's something like this, and we pull on it in one direction, um, and we push on it in the other. And then this material in the middle will be in a state of biaxial stress. So we pull on it with a stress of uh, 200 megapascals, say, and we push on it with a transverse compressive stress of 50 MPa. So um, this is quite commonly done when you're looking at yielding for anisotropic materials and trying to look at yield surfaces, which we'll look at at the end of the course. And this is how you check if your yield surface assumptions are correct for the material you're working with. Um, so we've got a stress matrix here of 200 minus 50 megapascals. And the question asks us to f uh, draw a circle and find out um, what the principal stresses are, um, find out what the maximum shear stress is, and find what the angle is between the longitudinal stress axis, so this one, and the plane of maximum shear. Um, and finally, it asks us to find the normal stress at an angle of 30 degrees clockwise from the longitudinal stress axis. So uh, let's get going. So we want a Mohr circle that goes between 200, comma, 0 and minus 50, comma, 0. So we've got a Mohr circle like that. Our vertical axis is going to be somewhere in here. The average of 200 minus 50 is 150 divided by 2 is 75. So the middle's here at 75. So that's 125 that way and 125 that way. Um, and uh, the radius here is 125. Um, and so uh, at max shear, we're at this condition, which is 75, 125, and 75, 125. Um, so uh, the principal stresses are uh, 200 and minus 50 MPa, they're what we were originally given. Uh, at max shear, um, then we have a stress state of 75, 125, 125, 75 megapascals. And the angle 2 theta here between uh, the principal stress matrix, the one we originally applied, and the max shear condition is 45 degrees. So uh, 45 degree rotation um, counterclockwise from the 200 MPa, that is the longitudinal axis. Okay. Um, so now we need to ask ourselves, that was the last part of the question is, what are the normal stresses at an angle degrees of 30 degrees from the longitudinal stress axis? The longitudinal stress axis was this one. So we need to go 30 degrees clockwise. So we go 60 in a circle down that way. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily going to go through zero. Uh, I'm going to take the Fifth Amendment on that point until I've calculated it. And I'm going to rotate 30 degrees in reality, 60 degrees in Mohr's circle, um, down. So what I've now got is I've now got a radius of 1, 2, 5. And my stress here is going to be 75 plus 125 times uh, uh, adjacent cos 60. Right? Now you need to remember what your coses and sines are. I can never do it, so I'm going to just put it in a calculator. So that's a half. So that's 75 plus 62 and a half. Um, and that's equal to uh, 137.5. Comma, sine 60 times 125. Sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So comma, 125 times root 3 over 2. Um, and uh, 
I write that down, uh, sine 60 sweep 3 over 2 times 125. If you're interested, that's a shear stress of 108 megapascals. And this one is then 75 minus cos 60, comma, the same number, 108. And we're in this quadrant of Mohr's circles, they're positive. So if we want to write, the question asked us to find the normal stress and angle deg 30 degrees from the normal stress axis. So the normal stress is that number. So the normal stress, stress. 30 degrees clockwise, from the normal uh, the 200 MPa longitudinal axis is 137.5 MPa. Okay, and that's going to be our the solution to our problem. Um, and there you go. So that's how you do a rotation as well as do things like find max shear and the principal stresses. And that's how you do a rotation in a circle. So. That's the end of the problem.